I've been off on vacation for a week and man, do I ever wish I had me one of these. These are the J-Buds frames. And Luke and I have talked about this on The WAN Show before, that there is literally no human way to wear sunglasses without looking like a douchebag. But what we've never talked about before is whether there's anything you can do to your sunglasses to make you look like more of a douchebag. And now <laughs> we finally got the answer. The answer is yes. These are the J-Buds frames. They're wireless audio for when you're on the go. And basically it's, as far as I can tell, a Bluetooth speaker slash headset accessory that clips onto your sunglasses. So instead of spending a bunch of money on sunglasses that might be, you know, kind of mediocre sunglasses with kind of mediocre speakers, now you can have really good or even really crappy sunglasses with presumably mediocre speakers. In terms of accessories, they come with a charging case. Oh, okay, yeah, it's neat. So this is, a, how does this go on? Oh, oh it's magnetic. Ugh. Don't try and put that on the wrong way. It's gonna be like, no, please don't put me on that way. Ah, I will run away, I will get away from you. Ah, no, no, I will dodge you. You know what? I gotta say, thanks J-Lab, because this is a nice cushiony sunglass case with whatever this little rubber accessory thing is in it. Oh, woo, look at that. It's like a party and all the rubbers are invited. That's what these are for. There we go. <gasps> Why didn't they just come pre-installed? I don't know. Okay, well that's on there. Oh yeah, that's on there real good. Look at this. That's quality speaker, it won't even break off. Light! Out of 10. How cool am I right now? It looks like a Justin Bieber. Yeah, I said out of 10. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Well, okay, are you a believer or not? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Yeah? Is it, is it too bulky? From the front, it's bulky. Yeah. In terms of the weight, I've actually got to give them credit. It's, it doesn't feel that different from just like having sunglasses on. Like, I mean, in fairness, I have a fairly grand nose, you know? So there's a lot of foundation for the for the glasses to rest on there, but yeah, it's, it's not bad. Actually not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and fire these puppies up. Presumably you just hold the button and they go into pairing mode. Ready to pair. Hey, I can hear it. Big thanks to Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that helps you with your grammar and can offer spelling suggestions as well. Simply install the browser extension, log in and start typing. There's also Grammarly Premium, which provides more in-depth feedback on your writing. One feature we love is the built-in tone detector. It helps ensure that what you're writing sounds the way you actually want it to sound. So go to Grammarly.com slash short circuit to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today. Seriously, guys, some of the cover letters and resumes that we get use Grammarly. No, I mean, they don't use it, but they should. Now, so far, I've only heard anything out of the left one. And if the little voice talking to me about the battery being full is anything to go by, these are going to sound like absolute ass garbage. You know what? Let's listen to some My Little Pony music. Okay, they're working in stereo now, so that's good. Wow. Oh boy, so this is a song about Cheryl Lee, the uh, school teacher. I'm at the like, hey, you're approaching hearing damage levels of volume thing right now. And I can barely hear it in a quiet studio with everyone, you know, quiet on set kind of thing. Hold on a second here, ladies and gentlemen. Respectful sound. The open speaker design features powerful 16 millimeter drivers that produce sound perfect for just you. The unique design targets your ears without annoying those around you while being aware of your surroundings. Okay, so the idea is you can hear what's going on around you, but we got a bit of a problem with that theory. Problem number one, the speakers point down, they're ported down the, the bottom, like, like down. Also, it appears based on the picture that the speakers are meant to be mounted. Oh no, maybe, oh no, no, no. They're meant to be mounted farther back. Okay, so maybe that's part of our problem here. So let's, let's move these back. Okay, I'll give them another shot. I'll give them another shot. Let's see if this new fitment paradigm enhances the experience. This definitely looks stupider, doesn't it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you guys can just like hear this fine, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can, this is like, I can, I can, like I can hear it. 
Well, it's because the speakers yeah. are they're ported down. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, they're ported to the outside too. Am I wearing them back? <laughs> no, I'm not. Now maybe that's to give them like a more open sound. But it does mean that like yeah, you guys can hear it just fine. Yeah. At what is a comfortable listening volume for me. What if I crank it? Okay. As you're getting that skull resonance. Yeah. Wow, that distortion is something else. <laughs> okay, but but this product can absolutely be redeemed. Eight hours playtime, okay. How's the water resistance? Says absolutely nothing about that. That's not encouraging. But tell me this, Jono, how much does this cost? 50 bucks. 50 bucks, well there's your answer right there. If you want a pair of Bluetooth speakers that clips to your sunglasses, and you don't want to spend a lot of money, then, hey, frat boy, here it is right here. And when you lose them in a drunken stupor, you won't even care because daddy's trust fund's gonna take care of you just fine. <laughs> wow, I don't usually get that antagonistic in our videos. I just, I love sunglasses because I don't like having the sun in my eyes, but I hate sunglasses because I hate who I am when I wear them. <laughs> yep, and these, uh, you know what, for 50 bucks, you know what, that, yeah, sure, yeah, fine. You can also make call Call Yvonne Ho. No, wait. We're listening to the fat rat now. Good, but it turned off. You gotta be kidding me. They're supposed to go on the other way? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hey, at least the controls make sense now. Okay, so volume up right there. Double press for play pause, okay. Press and hold for one second, track forward. Okay, cool. So double tap, call Yvonne Ho. Yes, hello Wave Lady, you are on speakerphone. Um, I just wanted to check in with you. Does my voice sound good? No, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I, I, why would you assume that? <laughs> I just want to know if this microphone is any good. Okay, all right, all right, thanks. Man, so what we gotta figure out is what is it? Some quality of the microphone, or is it something about being like a douchey indoor sunglass wearing mother that makes your wife think you did something wrong? By the way, oh, for those wondering, no, they did not sound any better in the correct orientation. They're they're suitably adequate if you don't care about like sound quality, but you don't because you have clip-on sunglasses speakers, so. You know what, I stand behind it. If you want one of these, I think 50 bucks is probably about what you deserve to spend on it. Thanks everyone. Don't forget to subscribe to Short Circuit. See you later.